We'll have to see how seamlessly he can make the jump from college to the next level. It's the Jets going up against the Bills. Thank you, Larry. Renamed in August of 2016, there's a look inside New Era Field here at Orchard Park, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the New York Jets. Welcome, everyone, to another season of coverage on EA Sports. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis with you. And, Charles, you look at these two teams, the Jets 5-11 last year, Bills 7-9, and nine, both clearly still looking up at the Patriots in the AFC East and increasingly looking up at the Dolphins as well. Yeah, and you have to remember the Dolphins improved themselves significantly in the offseason, both in free agency and in the draft. That's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that will drive a team towards a victory. He'll look to throw. His throw caught at about the five. And he'll take it into the end zone. a cornerback out of LSU to take the place of the departed Stephon Gilmore. Back to throw now on second and ten. Man open right side. It's the tight end play. And taking it across midfield. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? They'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Andre Holt. You can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you read it. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jordan Jenkins. Seems like they're always playing in week one. And then on Monday night, a doubleheader, Adrian Peterson, his first game with the Saints. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Steve route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarter in this game for the guy throwing the ball, already has thrown one interception, almost to the second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the deep. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. 
They'll set up to throw. Going up top. This is caught inside the 15. Should out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact. And as a result, unable to hold on to the football. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. This is played offensively. They've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for likely force a field goal attempt. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Tremaine Johnson. down and the Jets pressure too much as down he goes Avery Williamson they'll drop the throw and incomplete the contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down down it's McCoy <laughs> and a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped yards underrated and how strong he is through the hole but the best part of his game open field where he makes a whole lot of people miss in 2016 he would they're gonna try and throw and it is incomplete boy a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out slide it's a gain of 13 and a buffalo first down so there you go save your best scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter picking up the first you don't want to use it up early right you make sure you save it for that exact moment that key time and that's what he did although you and i both know it wasn't planned that way but what a nice job using his eyes scanning the field and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go he's gonna loft one deep left side here and that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. 
There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to with you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Flushed out right. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Avery Williamson in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. All right, here we go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He sets to fire. It's caught inside the 25. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Escaping the... And it's a Bills touchdown! Now an important conversion attempt here as the Bills line up to go for two. Back to throw here. Flush to his right, and he will get into the end zone for two, and this game now tied here in the fourth. not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's coming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D game. You can't have those kind of plays. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Space to run past the 20. And he's brought down. Needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's... Oh, no, he lost the football. Multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie from LSU, Jamal Adams. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the flyover, the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day. Take on the Raiders. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they go down to defeat here in the opener.